Hello everybody, I'm GeForce Fly, and in this video, we're going to be looking at AMD's competitor to the Intel Pentium in the K5 processor. Originally released in 1996, the K5 is based on AMD's AM29000 RISC architecture with an x86 decoding front end. This made it more similar to Intel's later Pentium Pro, but it would ultimately target Pentium performance at a much lower cost versus the Intel competition. I will be testing both variants of the K5, the SSA5 based PR100 and the 5K86 based PR166, both running at 90 MHz. This is because my PR100 sample had trouble running at its rate of 100 MHz. Oh, and we'll throw in a Pentium 90 for comparison. The test system consists of an 8-bit TX5 motherboard, 64 MB of SD RAM, a crucial BX100 SSD to eliminate any storage bottlenecks, and an NVIDIA GeForce FX5200 to take any video bottlenecks out of the equation. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. On to the benchmarks, first starting with 3 Mark 99 Max. The 5K86 would get 575 3 Marks, the SSA5 463, and the Pentium 509. That gives the 5K86 a 24% performance uplift over the SSA5 and 13% faster than the Pentium. As for CPU 3D marks, the 5K86 got 690, the SSA5 603, and the Pentium 685. So while the 5K86 is 14% faster than the SSA5 in this test, the 5K86 and the Pentium were pretty much on par with one another. In Winbench 99, 5K86 got 7.8 CPU marks, the SSA5 5.58, and the Pentium 6.9. A 39.8% performance uplift for the 5K86 over the SSA5, and 13% faster than the Pentium. In the FPU test, the 5K86 got 291 FPU win marks, the SSA5 271, and the Pentium 351 the Pentium beating the 5K86 by over 20% in this test. In the business graphics score, the 5K86 got 49, the SSA5 38.8, and the Pentium 33.8. A 26.3% advantage for the 5K86 over the SSA5, and 45% over the Pentium. And it would be even more pronounced in the high-end graphics test. The 5K86 scored 144 points, the SSA5 117, and the Pentium 91.2, a 57.9% uplift for the 5K86 over the Pentium. In Business Windstone 99, the 5K86 scored 8.78 points, the SSA5 7.05, and the Pentium 6.86 points. A 24.5% performance improvement for the 5K86 over the SSA5, and 28% over the Pentium. And now on to the DOS tests. First up, 3D Bench 1.0C. The 5K86 scored a 90.3 FPS average, while the SSA5 had a 79.3, and the Pentium an 82.6 FPS average, giving the 5K86 a 13.9% performance improvement over the SSA5 and a 9.3% performance improvement over the Pentium. In Chris's 3D benchmark at 640 by 480, the 5K86 scored 29.5 FPS average, while the SSA5 had 22.5, and the Pentium 24.5 FPS average. Again, another win for the 5K86, 31.6% faster than the SSA5, and over 20% faster than the Pentium. In Doom on the highest details, the 5K86 got 45.24 FPS average, the SSA5 got 43.99 FPS, while the Pentium got 39.39 FPS average, an advantage of 2.8% for the 5K86 over the SSA5, and nearly 15% over the Pentium. In Doom at the lowest settings, the 5K86 got 186.73 FPS average, the SSA5 171.7, and the Pentium 170.53. So the 5K86 has an 8.8% lead over the SSA5 and a 9.5% lead over the Pentium. Now on to Dr. Hardware SysInfo version 9.0. In the Hardstone test, 5K86 scored 79,675, 
the SSA 5 74,420 and the Pentium 77,382. 5K86 therefore is 7.1% faster than the SSA 5 and 3% faster than the Pentium in this test. In the soft stone test, things would change significantly. The 5K86 scored 25,970 soft stones, the SSA 5 24,910, and the Pentium 33,390, which means the Pentium is 28.9% faster than the 5K86 in this test. In the PC Player Benchmark at 640x480, the 5K86 scored 13.4 FPS average, the SSA 5 11.9, and the Pentium 12.9 FPS average. A 12.6% performance uplift over the SSA 5 for the 5K86, and just under 4% faster than the Pentium. In Quake, the Pentium would flex its muscle. 5K86 would score 23.1 FPS average, the SSA 5 20.1 FPS, and the Pentium 26.9 FPS average. The Pentium was 16.5% faster than the 5K86, who in turn was 14.9% faster than the SSA 5. And the gap would increase in the 360 by 480 Quake test. The 5K86 scored 10.3 FPS average, the SSA 5 9 FPS, and the Pentium 12.3 FPS average, giving the Pentium a 19.4% performance advantage over the 5K86. Now looking at speed sys, first the CPU test. The 5K86 scored 94.52 points, the SSA 5 91.48 points, and the Pentium 67.05 points. I almost wonder if the K5 was heavily optimized for this particular test, as even the SSA 5 is significantly faster than the Pentium, while the 5K86 is 41% faster than the Pentium in this test. Level 1 cache bandwidth has the 5K86 at 191.15 megabytes per second, the SSA 584.57, and the Pentium 178.17 megabytes per second. Not a big win for the 5K86, but it is 7.5% faster than the Pentium. As for level two cache bandwidth, the 5K86 scored 90.16 megabytes per second, the SSA 5 78.99, and the Pentium 90.54 megabytes per second. An insignificant performance uplift for the Pentium over the 5K86, who in turn was 14.1% faster than the SSA 5. On to the memory bandwidth test. The 5K86 scored 164.44 megabytes per second, the SSA 5 150.83, and the Pentium 193.78 megabytes per second. I wonder if there was some floating point involved in this test. The Pentium is 17.8% faster than the 5K86 in this test. And then to the memory throughput test, the 5K86 scored 66.72 megabytes per second, the SSA 5 57.7, and the Pentium 67.03 megabytes per second. Again, an insignificant victory for the Pentium, but the 5K86 is 15.6% faster than the SSA 5 in this test. And then the last test of the day is Top Bench. The 5K86 scored 311 points, and both the SSA 5 and Pentium scored 280 points. I wonder if that's where AMD got their PR rating from. The 5K86 is 9.6% faster than both the SSA 5 and Pentium in this test. So, what can we learn from this comparison? It all has to do with your workload. For the K5, as we all know, the SSA 5 had issues and would not perform to its maximum potential until the 5K86 refresh came out later in 1996, increasing performance in certain applications by up to 39% or more. If floating point performance is of priority, you're going to want the Pentium over the K5, as it's about 20% faster clock for clock than the 5K86. In scenarios where floating point performance wasn't an issue, the K5 had much better performance than the Pentium, especially in the integer heavy tests. And it also came in at a much lower price than the Pentium when it was new. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. I'm GeForceFly. Take care, everyone.